So you want to know what my top five mentalism props are? Hey everyone, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. I hope that you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at my top five everyday carry mentalism props. Before we get started, let's just quickly make sure we're on the same page with terminology. Often people get confused the difference between a prop and a gimmick. Keep in mind that a prop is any item or object that helps you to perform an effect, whereas a gimmick is any object or item that is secretly altered but also assists you to perform an effect. So probably the most well-known gimmick is the invisible deck. Uh, keep in mind that all gimmicks are props by nature, but not all props are gimmicked. I hope that makes some sense to you. So let's get into my list here of top five everyday carry mentalism props. Now, I've compiled this list on items that I carry with me every day, um, stuff that I always keep going back to over and over again. And I've tried to put together a list of items that you can use for a bunch of generic routines and effects based on your style. For example, I have not included my favorite gimmicked envelope or my favorite book test because that's very narrow and that's specific for one effect. Rather, these are props that can be used for a multitude of mentalism routines or effects. Now, an honorable mention obviously is the cell phone. I have not included that here, but definitely should be part of any top list of mentalism props because it's very, very useful. Although there are those people that do not want to use a cell phone in their mentalism performances. So I have not included it here. I expect that some of you will not agree with this list of top five mentalism props. That's okay. That's fine. Just leave me a comment below telling me what you think belongs on the list or maybe what you think doesn't belong on the list. That's fine too. I'm trying to organize this in order of least useful to most useful, although all of these mentalism props are very useful. Starting with number five. Number five on my list of top mentalism props goes to a prop that I reviewed over a year and a half ago. I carry them in this little um, manila envelope, uh, which is all beat up now, and that is the Naked ESP Cards by Michael Murray. Now, these are plastic ESP cards, so they're literally almost indestructible. And for me, they're the easiest to read from a distance. If you're having an issue with eyesight, like all of us eventually will, you'll find that these cards are the best and easiest ESP cards to read. After you get these, you won't ever buy any more. Um, I actually like that they're plastic because they're like indestructible. Now, you can pick these up for about $25 from your favorite magic dealer or directly from Michael Murray. Uh, there is a new updated version out there that's called a fully naked ESP deck, which is about $40, and those are printed on real cardstock, and that's a full deck. You may prefer those, although they're not as easy to carry as these, and they'll wear out over time because they're on real cardstock. But some people, maybe they want real cards because these are plastic cards, but I have no issues with them. They're just as good as the day that I got them. I would highly recommend them to you. Um, you should check out my review on these if you're not familiar with them. And that's number five on my list of top five uh, mentalism props. Number four on my list is another prop that I did a full review on a year and a half ago, although now I carry around the updated version. The original version was the Razor Wallet. Now I carry around the Shadow Wallet, which is D. Christopher's upgraded version of the Razor Wallet. Now, I think I was the first one to do a review on the Razor Wallet and people, they made faces about it because it was vegan leather and whatnot. Although it has stood the test of time, it's still just as good as when I bought it. Um, I have upgraded to the Shadow Wallet because this has some nice new features and D. Christopher has made some improvements and fixed some issues that we had with the Razor Wallet. So this is the one that I'm carrying now. It's still nice and thin. It's an excellent peak device. You can pick this up for $60 from D. Christopher and you can get the genuine leather version if you want. I like to use a $10 bill for the divider and um, I actually did a top five uh, mentalism review based on the effects I carry in the Razor wallet. And as I've updated the wallet, I've also updated the effects that I carry in here. So some of these effects in here are the same ones from my other review. And I have a number of new mentalism effects that I carry here 
in the shadow wallet. I may do an updated version of that top five list. If there is interest, I may do that sometime here in the near future. Anyway, if you are curious about what you can carry in your mentalism wallet for everyday carry, check out that review. Um, and this is definitely number four on my list of top five everyday carry mentalism props. Moving along to number three, we have the Sven pad. Now, I'm not talking about this Sven pad, I'm talking about this one. Yes, the post it note version. This one is perfect for everyday carry. It's nice and small and it's very innocent looking. Now you can pick up three of these for $18 from Penguin Magic. I now carry this in a little plastic bag in my pocket because I had another one that I was using for a while and it got all beat up and dirty. So I find that I have to carry it like in a little tiny plastic bag in my pocket so it, it doesn't get dirty more than anything else. Um, this is an excellent forcing device if you're not familiar with that. Now, the way that I use it, if you're curious, right, I always like to give you guys my own ideas and tips to help you. No one else is gonna tell you this, of course, keep that in mind, right? Is that I've combined this with another effect, which is the thought association card. And by doing that, you can see that I've written words for thought on the front of this. And basically, I'm using the words from the thought association card together with the Sven pad. That way I can force a multiple of words on different spectators. It's just very, the idea of marrying those two effects together, those two principles together is what makes this so powerful. Um, if you're not, if you're familiar with those things then you're gonna realize how strong that is together. I use it all the time, especially if I'm performing for multiple spectators and you wanna get them to think of different things. So it's an excellent way of using that and you don't need to use the card. Now you have it here in the, in the pad and it makes sense. The excuse which is that these are words for thought, which is great. So I've had a lot of success with this and I carry this with me every single day. Even though I use it this way, you can use it in any way you want. Um, you can put movie actors here, you can put whatever you want, whatever objects you want or whatever you want to force. So it's an excellent little tool for that. Um, and I carry it with me every day. I would highly recommend it to you guys. If you want to get the larger version, it's not as portable. Um, obviously you could carry this with you, but I wouldn't carry this with me every day. It's just too big. This version, I have some questions written in here, and this is more for carrying in your bag and not carrying on your person. Whereas this, you can just carry on your person. It's very, very light and small. So that's number three on my list. Moving along to number two. Number two of my top five mentalism props goes to the TDC Utility Holdout. Now this is Danny Tong's utility holdout device. And I picked this up for $10 some years ago, and this is what it looks like. So this holdout, what it is, is it's like the snap side of the snap purse with some fabric sewn onto it and some pins. And I have one of these pinned in literally every jacket or coat that I have um, because they're only like $10 each. And I use it for a multitude of different things. But in terms of mentalism, the reason why it's so powerful is because the way that I've used it most frequently is with a dummy billet. You have a dummy billet there and you can approach your spectator, you can give them a billet to write something and your hands are open, clean, you've got nothing. But when you need to, you very quickly can get your dummy billet and you're ready for your switch. And you could do the ugliest switch in the world and no one's ever gonna suspect anything because your hands were completely clean. You did not go into any pockets, which it's just great. So that's one way to use it. Another way that I've used it is you could use it by doing like a key and lock routine and you put the, the real key in here and then you have like a bunch of fake keys for the lock. So you could do that seven keys of ball plate type of routine. Another way that you could do it is you could use it uh, like with bank night routine where you have the actual uh, little envelope with the actual money in it that you want. Like for instance, like here's, here's like a hundred dollar bill. You got a hundred dollar bill in there and then you can come out with some other envelopes that, that all of them have nothing in them and you could do a bank night routine with this. An excellent way of doing it with this. So you can see there's a multitude of things you can do with this, with mentalism. And the nice thing is because it's pinned in your jacket or your coat or your hoodie, it doesn't take up any pocket space. You won't even notice it's there. It'll just go for the ride. So you could have this pinned in your jacket or your coat and you can just forget about it. And it's there when you need it. You gotta love that. 
and for 10 bucks it's just great now i know danny tong's website is no longer available so you're probably gonna have to get this from a magic dealer if you have a hard time finding it or getting it from somebody just send me a message and i can give you some ideas so that's number two my top five everyday carry mentalism props so moving along to number one finally number one drum roll my number one mentalism prop for everyday carry is lincoln cam's best boon now this in my opinion is the best boon writer that exists and this is the best for everyday carry the reason look at how small this is so you have this little metal box that you carry with you and the actual boon inside is magnetized so that way it's in the same place in here so the nice thing about it is you don't have to look to put it on this is in your pocket whenever you need to you just reach in and you've got it you've got it on and you're ready to go which is great it's very easy to use and the nice thing about it is that once you have it on um, when you want to after you use it you want to hand out the card or the envelope or whatever to your spectator you get this clean display as you're handing it out to them where it, there's nothing else in your hand your hand is totally clean it's great even though you're still wearing it they, they don't notice it so let me show you a close-up of what that looks like of how invisible the boon is you could see here that there is no telltale sign of it when you're holding it in your hand and the best part about it is that you could turn your hand over you can look at the other side there's nothing to be seen i mean from either side which is wonderful all right so this uh item i picked this up for 50 dollars, and that was back in 2009 so you can see how long i've had it i'm still using the exact same one since 2009 i've changed the lead on it a bunch of times and actually in the case here, you can carry extra leads and some extra sticky stuff. Although it's very rare that I have to change it. You don't have to change it very often. Um, and this is like probably the best investment in mentalism I've ever made because half of mentalism is based on secret writing anyway. So you're gonna find lots of uses for it. And the nice thing is when you're done with it, you just put your hand in your pocket, you just open the case and you put it back. It'll go right back on the magnet and you can just close it up and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you don't have to look at your hand, which is excellent. Because once you start looking at your hand and it starts to act, you get, start to act weird, people are like, wait, what's going on here? You see what I mean? So this is the type of item that you're gonna perform right under the nose of your spectator and they're never gonna see anything. I have a number of different routines that I've come up with with this over the years and always gets big reactions. So if you're not familiar with it, you should definitely check it out. Um, I know you can pick this up from Lincoln's World. That's his website, Lincoln's World, uh, where you can search for it. So that's my list of top five everyday carry mentalism props. I hope that you guys found something here that piqued your interest. As usual, if you have any questions or comments about any of these mentalism props or anything else that I review, please just leave me a comment below. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning into my magic reviews, and I'll see you on the next review.